All right, what's going on, y'all? It's your man, Jirai Kenneth. So uh, uh, about like five years ago, I did a tutorial on how to use Blue Glitch. Uh, I made a really corny beat. Um, and so uh, recently, as, actually today, uh, October the 9th, 2020, as of now, uh, for you guys, maybe years later, who knows? Brother asked me and said, hey, um, you did a video. In this video, you was basically saying that you had to make a bunch of, you know, he, he, I had to add Blue Glitch a lot and add different um, automations for each one. He was like, can't you just switch it out in between? Hey, bruh, that's a, that's a really good question, actually. But for the most part, no. But what I did tell the brother was that, hey, if you try it with Reaper, you can, you can do exactly what you're thinking in your head, and uh, it may be a little bit easier. So we're going to actually close this out. And uh, just bear with me a minute because that's going to take forever. Okay. So, uh, we're going to go back to the Afrobeats beat that I made. Uh, of course, I muted out all the actual actual strings, uh, synths, all that stuff, and just kept the percussion. Um, and then for some strange reason, I couldn't use Glitch, the, the, the Glitch 1.3 for this one, but it's letting me do it with this. So we'll leave it like that. All right. Now, what I was saying. Oh, and also, by the way. Um, Reaper is not sponsoring me to do this, but I love Reaper. I've been using Reaper since around like maybe like 2015 or 16. Um, it's actually free. Um, you can actually pay like $60 for it, right? And then if you like do like commercial use or whatever, it's $225, but a discounted price is that, right? Buy it. Right there, sixty dollars. It's it's that's pretty 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 affordable, right? Sixty dollars in comparison to like Pro Tools or even Logic or whatever. But um, what from what I was being told, just real quick, from what I was being told, uh, one of the one of the developers for uh, Pro Tools actually played a part in creating this thing. And this thing, you can actually get it for free for a little bit too. Uh, so you know. That's always really, 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 really dope. Um, let's go back here. So, um, like I was saying, um, no, with at least with Fruity Loop, you can't control all of these different knobs and stuff as far as automation is concerned. However, and that's even with, with Glitch 2, you can't do that. However, with Reaper, and with you, this is why I love Reaper. Now, for people that may not be doing this, let's close this out real quick. I actually uh, track out my tracks, right? So this is the Afro Beats beat. Um, what I'm going to do real quick is turn that off so you can hear the beat. All right, so cool. We got that established. Yay, hooray. With this guy right here, um, this is Param or Parameter. Parameter is your friend and so is automation, all right? Parameter and automations go together. They are boyfriend and girlfriend. They are husband and wife. They are both things to each other in reference to Reaper, and I love it. Uh, the question was, um, will you be able to, like, add more things to this, add different automations without actually creating more, adding more instances of this VST? Um, at least in FL Studio, no you have to add more instances but what if you wanted this to overlap so say he wanted to overlap this right we got this going on now what's actually dope is that um you can do something like this right we can make a pattern like this or you can actually make this into a pattern where we go into envelope and we're going to go into low five so you got tape stops tape stop and we got some of the ones where it actually mixes in so let's go to this one here we want to go to the mix for low fi and we'll click that one as an example right now uh i don't have my hat we got that going on here so if i play it you should hear the lo-fi, all right? Right? Oh, 
Okay. We're going to do the same thing here. We're going to create some points. Whoops. Oh, well, okay. That's always awesome. We're going to create some points. Uh, I probably could have did it like that. All right. Cool. And do it like that. We'll click and shift. Well, dag nab it. It's supposed to be a <laughs> shift and click, but it didn't do that. So, sorry. All right. So, oh, snap. Why did I put? It's not supposed to be right. It's supposed to be on red. Right. So we'll put that right there. We'll create another point. I'm gonna show you what I'm about to do. Right, the beat is still in there. Right, so we got that going on. Now let's go back and look at this. Now what we're gonna actually do is look at the mix here. And this guy should be changing back to zero. Well, are we actually, yeah, we're in lo-fi. Okay, now that should have changed. Because right now it's off. Oh, right here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's right here. It's off right here. Sorry. That was for the lo-fi. Now we're doing it for the stretcher. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, let's go. We got tape stop. We got re-trigger. Oh, that's fine. And we'll bring that back up there. We'll make another one. Right? And what we're going to do here is actually switch it out. And we'll bring it over here. Yeah? All right, cool. Just to make a point, so right now, uh, when we go to lo-fi, we'll see it is on right now. Right, and the stretcher is actually currently off. Then it's gonna switch. You see that? And now you see that the mix is on right here. Now, just for fun, uh, 
let's add reversal to this just to make a point. And we're going to actually have it go all on. Uh, do I want to do that? Let's see. And then, of course, you can do that and make that into a tracked envelope and then go to reverser here. And, of course, you'll go to mix and then you'll mess with that one as well. So let's go here. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We'll create um, an, uh, an envelope. Whoops, envelope here. This time we're going to bring it all the way down. We're going to create another one and do it like that to where it fades in. So right now you don't hear it. And you know what? Let's do, yeah, towards the end. So you kind of hear it. It's going to start coming in in a little bit. right that's the reversal part what I was trying to find out earlier is if you were able to switch scenes or switch programs with the parameter and uh, I didn't see that option now for the but otherwise you're able to like manually change all of this stuff majority of this stuff at least like the main effects but when it comes down to actually Changing a program or changing a scene, you are limited to that, which really sucks. So that's pretty much it with that. I hope that helped. If you guys got any additional questions, uh, send me a message in reference to messing with uh, Glitch 2 and using this with Reaper or FL Studio. But remember with FL Studio in reference to, in comparison to Reaper, you're limited to how you get to control this. You're limited to how you get to control this with Reaper. Um, you can track your stuff out through FL Studio, take it to Reaper, and then you can actually do more controls on how you want things to transpire and go down. All right. Peace, y'all. Deuce.